Mark Cheney and both men have good records. We see there Love More to do 12, 2 and 1, 8 KOs. He obviously has power. And Simon Maidman, 18 and 11 with one draw. Yes, they both have great records. Simon losing 11 at fights um, may have a little bit of disadvantage, but looking at this Love More, he's been working out with some great fighters of across the zoo and in that camp, so he'd be having a lot of hard sparring, so we'll probably see the there's a little bit of ability come out of him tonight. And there is Simon Maidman making his way to the ring, having signed recently a promotional deal with the Australian Hemp Company. <laughs> the hemp that you wear. I just realised what he's wearing. <laughs> and there's Johnny Lewis, who we're going to see a lot of tonight, leading Love More Nadu into the ring. A little over 12 months ago, Love More Nadu fought for the South African Championship at 129 pounds and went 12 rounds only to fight a draw. Since then, he's picked up a couple of wins, most recently on the 14th of September over Teofilo Tunakau, where he won in 10 rounds. Highly credentialed in a very strong stable, and one suspects he may start favourite here. Yes, he's looking very confident. Um, good footwork by just watching him move around the ring. Very strong boy. Look at the legs on him. Big calves. Brown. Looks very good. Let's take you inside the ring for our official announcements with the King of the Ring, Mark Warren. Ladies and gentlemen, Forum Promotions and Fox Sports present Big Time Boxing at Long on the central coast of New South Wales, Australia. And tonight's bouts are all sanctioned by the Boxing Authority of New South Wales. All contests boxed this evening are conducted under the rules of the Boxing Authority of 61.2 kilograms and first up introducing to you out of the red corner he comes to us with a record of 30 fights 17 11 and 2 with four KOs amongst those tonight he sports his black trunks with green leaves age 30 years of age his reach at 174 centimeters height 174 centimeters and tipping the scales at 61.15 ladies and gents please make welcome here at Adlong Simon Maidman <laughs> out of the blue corner he comes to us rated number 15 by the WBC his fight record, 15 fights. He's won 12, two losses, one draw, and five KOs. Wearing black and gold trunks at the age of 25, with a 174 reach and a height of 170 centimetres, he came to us tonight at 60.4 kilograms. Ladies and gentlemen, from South Africa originally, now in the factory of champions at the Newtown Police Boys Club under the master trainer, Johnny Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, Lovemore Nadu. <laughs> Referee for this contest, Charlie Lucas. Judges ringside, John Cucci, Billy Mails and Joe Keenan. Okay, boys, don't want any nonsense off either of you. I want a good, clean fight. If I say stop or break, you're going to stop punch, you're going to step back, stay there, and I'm going to tell you to box on. There's a knockdown, the standing box, you go to that corner there, the one behind me, stay there. Sit down for 10 threes. 10 round fight. Defend yourself at all times and listen to my instructions at all times. Shake hands. Okay, good luck. So, referee right, Charlie Lucas issues the final right, instructions to these men. Love more than to do. Fighting out of the right. blue corner, Simon Maidman. You see in your picture will come out of the red corner. Here we go, round one. Big time round boxing one. from the Central Coast and Love More Nadu straight across to greet Simon Maidman. On paper at least, Love Nadu does have a slight edge, although the experience is with Maidman, and we do know that Maidman is durable because he has been very busy, and as recently as April this year, we found him down in the third round against Tony Squillace, only to win it with a TKO in round five. Great jab, very quick. I think Simon is just moving around, just sussing out what's happening. And Lovemore got a great fast jab. There he goes again. Well, any man who has beaten November Nishingala, who we've seen very regularly here on Fox Sports, obviously has good credentials, is a very good boxer. Lovemore's boxing very well. Simon, oh, nice combination, left or right. Moved it. 
My concern, Simon Maidman, of course, is uh, making the weight here. He's coming down dramatically. Has been up as high as 143 pounds in the past. Coming in here around the low 130s. Although, to his credit, he's done it on a gradual basis. Although, the do getting busy here. Just waiting. They're both just trying to sort each other out at the moment. Simon's moving a great deal more, moving around, keeping great jab. Just moving out of the way, trying to move out of the way of the punches. And I think he's just. Ooh. Very strong. The dude's just waiting. You can look in his eyes, he's just staring and just waiting for the right time. The Simon's still doing the right things. He's just having the work rate up so he's not letting Lovemore think too much. As soon as he stops, you can see Lovemore will think and he'll throw a jab out as soon as he stops. So there he goes. going to need to be busy here as we count down the final 60 seconds of the opening round, scheduled for 10. Do with a big KO record. Eight KOs, 12 starts. So we know he has power. Again, boys. Simon's doing well. I think Lovemore is just waiting for the big punch and he's just settling down. But as long as Simon keeps moving and keeps out of his way, he'll be right. He just waits and very strong. And he's coming on strong now, Lovemore to do. Maven fights back though. Got his feet planted well. Great physique of a boxer. Looks in great shape. Love more to do. And prepared just to act as the counter puncher for the moment. Wait, letting Maidman come at him and then throwing the counter punch. Simon's getting into a couple of punches, not hard punches, and Love is just coming back with some very hard punches. Ooh, great job. Yes, already here in the opening round, we've seen evidence to suggest that Love Morna do does have a power edge over Simon Maidman. Very entertaining opening round here yeah, in this lightweight much. contest. Very fast hands, a great left hand jab. Love more Scott. Here's some of the best action from the opening round. A big left hand there from Love More Nadu. He means business. There he is letting Simon Maiman come forward and then prepared to play the counter punching role for the moment. Nothing's really landed yet, but good left-hand jab. That's what he's been doing all the way through the round, just using that left-hand jab, filling it out. There it goes again. Just a feeler. And again. Getting instructions there from Johnny Lewis. Has lost Second only down. one of his past eight fights over two and a half years, and that was to Cliff Samardin 15 round months two. ago. Samardin, of course, still ranked top six in the world at lightweight level by both the IBF and the WBO. So it's certainly quality opposition there for Lovemore Nadu. And here we are in round two. Nadu in the black trunks. Simon Maidman in the green leaves on black. Just keep that, moving. That jab is dangerous from Lovemore Nadu. Good combinations there from Simon. Good jab, brilliant jab. <laughs> Already Graham Spike Cheney, a silver medalist at the Olympic Games in 1988 and a former holder of the WBC Intercontinental Junior Worldweight title, impressed by Love More Nadu. Very much so. And our boys, great Enjoy. boxing ability, Come just on. waiting for the right moment. Simon, I think, is a little bit tentative. He's, all he has to really do is keep moving. Maybe in the next couple of rounds, Love More might get a little bit tight and maybe reduce his power a little bit. But at this moment, I can't see that happening. Both men have been Ooh. fairly active. Simon Maitman did well with that. It was only a glancing blow. If it hit him flush, we may not still be here. To his credit, though, Maitman keeps coming forward at him. Yeah, he's been around a long while, Simon, and he knows how to fight, so he won't lie down. Ooh. On the end of a big left hand that time from the do, and here he comes, stalking Maitman. And again connects with the left. Now works to the body. Just too strong, I think. Overwhelming Maidman with his strength at the moment. Slapping uppercut as well. Oh, an excellent left hand from Nadu again. And Simon Maidman has his problems here in round number two. He's keep going, though. He's just moving around, trying to keep out of weight. These punches are just coming one after another. Though. Good right hand from Nadu as well. Great stance on his... Watch his feet. He's just got his feet spread just right far enough apart. 
great boxer. And he's obviously highly skilled. And that's no surprise. There's some good combinations they come from Simon. Just lacks a little bit more power. I think Lamar has got a little bit more power than him. For the moment, Nadu quite happy to trade punches because he does have an edge in power. May not be a game plan that's going to help Simon Maidman, but to his credit, as I mentioned, keeps coming forward. He's still leaning punches on, on Lovemore and very good boxing. Well, we expected this would be a quality card for us when you have your opening bout involving these two men scheduled for 10. High quality boxing here on Fox Sports and trust you're enjoying our coverage right around Australia. Don't forget, we'll be speaking with Costa Zoo. After this fight, he'll be telling us about his upcoming title defence in Las Vegas in January. End of round two. And on my unofficial scorecard at least, I have love more to do taking that round as we go inside the red corner and try and listen in with Artie Armstrong and Simon Maitman. Keep moving your head, you understand this? You're not getting hit while you're moving. All right, as soon as you stop, you get hit. Okay? And Simon, you've got to stop putting two and three together when you're going there. All right? You learn one, two, and you're missing with one, and you're not following up with your rip or your hook. All right? Come on, let's try and get two and three and four together. That's good. Here's some of the action from round two, and there you saw the head of Simon Maidman snapping back on the end of a left hand from Love More Nadu. If you listen to his trainer, he gave him great advice to move his head, move his body. Because as soon as he stands still, that's when he's getting hit. We're scheduled for ten. We're about to start round three with Love More Nadu in the black trunks and Simon Maidman in the black and green. And an entertaining affair here with Nadu on top, but with the edge in power, we suspect, from ringside. If Simon's trying to pick his work rate up, keeping his head going, keep throwing punches, 